Hi, my name is Kelly, and a photographer that I admire is Vivian Mayer. Vivian Mayer was a 20th century American street photographer born in New York City who spent most of her youth in France. In France, she lived with her mom and an award-winning portrait photographer named Jean Bertrand. Although Vivian's educational background is unknown, it can be reasonably inferred that Jeanne was the one who taught her photography since her first photos were controlled portraits. She began experimenting with her first photos in her early 20s in France before ultimately moving back to the U.S. where she would take the majority of her work in New York or Chicago. During her lifetime, her work was not known by anyone. She worked as a nanny for most of her life, but in her free time, she would roam the streets refining her craft. When she came back to the States, she had no family with her besides the family she would nanny for. She didn't have many friends, but the people who didn't know her described her as eccentric, strong, highly in intellectual, and extremely private. Vivian would always leave the house with the camera strapped around her neck, obsessively taking pictures, but she never showed anyone. Most of her photos were never even printed. She continued to take pictures for decades but the children she nannied for grew up. Her services were not needed anymore, and she ultimately became poor. Two years before she died, one of her storage units were auctioned off due to payments not being made, and that in that storage unit lay more than a 100,000 negatives that she had secretly stashed throughout her lifetime. It wasn't until a local historian named John Maloof, who bought a box of negatives from this auction house in Chicago, and shared her work with the world. He spent countless hours developing her rolls of undeveloped film himself and devoted himself to promoting and preserving her work and legacy. Vivian had a gift for capturing people's emotions, whether it be happy like the man on the left or utterly confused like the woman on the right. She wasn't afraid to capture people at their most vulnerable moments, such as in these two pictures where these two kids are crying. In both of these pictures, both of the kids are looking straight into the camera as if they were asking Vivian for help or sympathy. Her work offers a lot of different perspectives through her unique way of framing her subjects, whether that be through a mirror or taking the shot through a car window. What I admire most about Vivian is that she never cared if people gave her weird looks or stares. She just kept taking the pictures with pride. She was never afraid of getting close and oftentimes took pictures of people without them knowing, like in these photos of men sleeping in their car. In the first photo, it looks like she actually put her camera in the man's car and took the shot as if she was the person in the passenger seat. Her eccentric personality also reflected in her work because she took pictures that were unconventional. Most people would be afraid to go near a dead animal, let alone take a picture of one, but Vivian wasn't like most people. Her eye for images that make you feel such strong emotions is very special. Mayer's work also displayed her affinity for the poor. She felt this emotional kinship with those struggling to get by, and her thirst to be cultured led her around the world where she traveled to places like Thailand, India, South America, Asia, and many more. Throughout her career of taking pictures, she often took self-portraits in various ways. She utilized reflections as her main way of taking portraits of herself, so most of them were taken through a reflection of a storefront or a mirror. In her portraits, the reflections are very complex and has many layers to them. One of my favorite portraits of hers, though, is the one of where she took the picture through a reflection of a car wheel. Vivian's creativity is undeniable. She once said, Well, I suppose nothing is meant to last forever. We have to make room for other people. It's a wheel. You get on, you have to go to the end and then somebody has the same opportunity to go to the end 
and so on. I found this quote really fitting because her work was not meant to be kept secret forever, and now that it's finally shared with the world, it feels like she has come around full circle. The problem with her work that is being shared online now, though, is that we don't know how Vivian would have printed her photos, how she would have presented them in general, or which photographs she would have wanted to share if she wanted to share them at all. Regardless, her work is something that is deeply treasured today, and some of her prints have been sold for as high as $2,000 to $8,000. I chose Vivian's work to do my presentation on because her work is very organic and very natural. Shoot photography is one of my favorite genres of photography because of how genuine the moments being captured are. She is definitely one of my biggest inspirations when it comes to street photography because of her ability to capture authentic moments so well and isn't afraid of getting up close. I first heard of her work when I took this photography class last year at Boston University and the pictures that my professor showed the class were just so interesting to me that I just had to choose her for this project. Also, the fact that her work was only discovered 12 years ago is so fascinating, and I just wanted to learn more about her life. It's sad that she isn't here anymore to see the impact of her work, see the impact that her work has had in the photography world today, but her influence will carry on for many generations.